and then I can draw an imaginary horizontal line across. I bring my hands to that point and I think this is going to be her L4. It will feel very broad and flat, meaning like this is the inferior edge of her spinous process. Here's the superior edge of her spinous process. Oh. It's very broad. It's very big. And as I go across, it's very flat. So this is definitely not L5. So I think I should be on L4, but I can count down one. And what I want to feel is that the vertebrae is rounded and smaller. Now, just to make sure that's not L3 and this isn't L4, I'm going to come down one more. And I would probably say that this one here is actually L5. This is L4. And what I was on originally was probably L3. Because now I'm on this, and this feels much smaller and rounded. And I don't care, you can, you're right there. So why don't you put your thumb right where my thumb is. And so what you're going to feel is it's very small and rounded. Now come up one where this finger is and feel how much larger and broad. Okay. And then here's what I was on originally. Yeah. The difference. So that little one right it's at the bottom lighter. is a lot smaller and, and more like a nub where the other ones are much larger and broader. So that's why I have to confirm it because if I just do this and I come across, well, maybe I, my, my thumbs weren't, you know, my horizontal imaginary line was a little off. I was actually on her L3, I feel like. After I went down one, I felt like this is smaller, but I felt like it's still a little big. I don't know. So I'm going to see if I can get one lower than that. And I was able to get one lower than that that's even smaller. So I think that's her L5 right there. So that's alternative one. Alternative two is to find this per PSIS. Is find the iliac crest, go posteriorly until you just find the inferior edge of both the PSIS's. And then when I come across, I anticipate that I should be right over her S2. Once I'm on S2, I can go up and find S1. And then just above that should be her L5, which for me would be right there again. Is that what we were on before a second ago? So that's her L5 again. <laughs> okay. Oh. Alternative three is this lumbosacral cross method. And so what you're going to do is you're going to find the iliac crest, the, 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 the most highest point of the iliac crest, and you draw, and you can actually draw on your page, you draw an imaginary line, or you can take a pen or a pencil and draw across, right? Pen, really. You do the same thing for the AS, for the PSISs. You're gonna draw that line across. And then what you're gonna do is the inferior mark of the PSIS to the opposite high position of the iliac crest. You're gonna draw a line across. And then you do the same thing with the other side. Um, find the iliac crest, top of the iliac crest, and you're gonna draw a line across. And where those two lines intersect, the L5 spinous process should be right there, okay? But again, you've got to feel, because what I feel like with, with what I just did right now, I feel like this is her L4 and that this would be her L5 right there. Yeah. So that's gonna be her L5 right there. 